Chevroni is ready. 1,200 metres. They sprinting away from the 1,200 metre marker. In the centre of the track, Tapaway is right there shortly after the start. The stand side on the outside is Chevroni also pacing it with them. Pearl Oyster Bay has a good position. Midnight Lace drops off them a couple of lens. Run for Revelries very quick on the right-hand side from Miss Argentina. They are followed further back in the field by Snow Call, who's about three or four lengths off the leader. Then comes Amoya, and further back is Surfing Bell. Run for Revelry tacks over towards the outside and tap away. They dispute the lead. Surfing Bell is there. Then comes Snow Call. They are followed by Midnight Lays. Miss Argentina's only got two and a half lengths to make up. Further back in the field is Pearl Oyster Bay. Towards the outside, tap away the leader, Miss Argentina, run for Revelry. Down the inside, Patricia tries to run on and then comes Flying Cross. Coming to the 200 though and tap away goes from run for Revelry. And it's tap away in front, run for Revelry, Miss Argentina's trying to get into the race lane. Tap away is digging in deep, Miss Argentina, run for Revelry. But tap away, Miss Argentina, they hit the line, Miss Argentina got up. From Tapaway, run for Revelry, and then Pearl Oyster Bay. Miss Argentina, it had looked as though Tapaway was going to hold on till the last three jumps, but you'll find number three, Miss Argentina, the daughter of Miesk's approval for the Scott brothers once again, is going to get up in the shadow of the post to be Tapaway, the long-time leader, and Miss Argentina wins it by a head or so. Tapaway runs into that second position, run for Revery, who I must say went down looking exceptionally well today, runs into third place. Fourth position went to Pearl Oyster Bay. Further back in the field, take note of the run of Surfing Bell, then Celine. Further back in the field, Patricia, Flying Cross, Shiravani, and then Snow Call. So as we take a look at the head-on, and Tap Away continues to lead ultra-consistent over the 1,000, goes the 1,200, and is just holding on this maiden against the winners, and gets tagged on the line by Miss Argentina. So Miss Argentina will just win it. Tap Away just beat it into second, and Run for Revelry runs into third. A race time of 7 tie, comma, 7-0, until the opening leg of the place accumulator. Race 3, back to the studio. Welcome back. A very exciting tussle down to the post, but the well-supported Miss Argentina, she's got up on the winning post to get up. Well done, Kevin. Thanks, Sheldon. Um, I thought a, merit, a win full of merit. I went through a bit of a bad patch, about the 500. I was travelling well and she lost it. But she gathered herself together and picked it up and won going away. Those last couple of jumps, she was giving it at all? She was really dug down deep. I think she's very honest. Well done. She's a horse who's going to go and win a couple of heats for the owners? I'm absolutely sure. I mean, she's, she saw what she looks like. She needs a bit of time to grow and she'll be fine. Well done, Kevin. Thanks very much. There's your winning memento there from Keith Russon, owner of Backward Stud. So well done to jockey Kevin Shea, receives his winning mementos there. Let's get Duncan Howes, the winning conditioner of Miss Argentina. Now, just looking at the way she won her maiden, she was going to be a big player today. Yes, uh, last run she was in the worst going at Scottsville. And I thought that we'd rushed a bit into the race, but it was an option to take at that point in time. I freshened her up and she'd come on really well over the last couple of weeks. Just looking at your runners to come, they look to be competitive? Yes, yeah, Sheldon, look, it's a very competitive race card. Uh, it's very open. Most are fitting well and we've prepared a couple for today, so let's hope we have luck in running. Congratulations. Right, if I could just say well done to Greg Blank, Larry Neistat, Charles and uh, Mr. Eddie in Cape Town. Um, this filly's been a little bit of a money spinner and she's done well for us. Congratulations. Thank you. Receive your winning memento there from Keith Russon. So well done to trainer Duncan Howells. He's brought Miss Argentina 110% to the race course today. Then the winning owners, Miss Reddy, Bannister, Blank, Howells and Nestad. You made the trip to the course today. Charles, worthwhile. Yes, definitely. Um, you're over the moon. We're so excited. Um, like I said, the last run, you know, we can just pull a line through that. And she, she shows so much potential. Um, I'd like to uh, thank KZN and Breeders and Gold Circle for this fantastic race day. Thanks to Duncan and the team, the other partners, and Kevin for a great ride.
You must have been holding your breath that last yeah. hundred. Tap away, look to get away, and then Kevin really let her loose. Yeah, definitely. I had memories of Widget in the, fir uh, the first run, you know, just getting the head down, but this time we, we got it right. Congratulations. There's your winning prize there, so congratulations Thanks to Charles. So much. Thank you. Thank you. From Keith Russon there, well done to the winning owners. We're presented by a check, and well done to all concerned. And then, of course, the winning groom, Letsima. We'll bring Letsima in shortly. He's the man who looks after Miss Argentina. And, of course, the sales vouchers awarded to the first four places of the race. The first place, 10,000 rand, and then 5,000 for the second, third, and fourth place runners there. So well done to all concerned. The back with stud, Kwasuda Natal breeders, and there's the winning groom, Letsima. Well done, Letsima, if you want to receive your prize there. So well done to Letsima. He looks after Miss Argentina, and that's the running of the Backworth stud. And well done to Miss Argentina. She's really quickened up in the latter stages to get the better of exchanges. Race number two, still plenty of entertainment coming up later in the afternoon.